Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you about the power of prayer. Um, as you and I look around at the world today, and we see a lot of things happening that are discouraging, sometimes disgusting, um, it could cause us to either become anxious and afraid, or uh, could cause us to be drawn closer to God. That's what I would suggest to you. And I want to encourage you to know that when you pray sincerely to God about the issues that are going on in your life or in people around you, that God hears your prayer and he has the power and the wisdom to deal with any request that you give to him, especially when you pray according to the scripture. The, the Bible says this way in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, I urge then, first of all, that requests, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. So when we get upset, maybe we complain about one political party or the other one, that's not my issue. My issue is just, I want to have people that are honest and have integrity and are there serving the public for the public's benefit, not their own. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> and as I look around at all these things, I'm thinking, you know what we need to do is to pray for our leaders because our leaders are desperately needing God's wisdom and direction. Do you think if you and I see problems around us that when our leaders realize that there are these problems, do you think they actually within themselves know what to do? Do you think they actually have the power to transform the behavior of people? Uh, they throw money at different things and they come up with what should be their solution that's going to solve all our problem. I'm not seeing too many problems solved. All I see usually is more problems created by the government. It's like that saying, you know, I'm from the IRS and I'm here to help you. Well, uh, I would be suspicious of that comment. Anyway, we can do this. We can pray. Well, what is prayer? Prayer is a communication with God. It just means that you and I take our concerns, our issues, uh, to God in prayer. And you say, Dear Lord, um, I have these problems in my life, and I'm sure I'm not alone. There's uh, Others have it too. And we need your help. God loves it when you trust him enough to say, God, we need your help. We don't know how to solve these problems. We, uh, we would if we could, but not even the highest leaders have the power to transform the behavior of mankind. Only God can, but God can. So trust him. So pray. And I would suggest to you that for, for the next month, every day, you would take time every day just to say prayers for our leaders, of all parties, both men and women, to, make, uh, to, to lift up prayers for our communities, our local communities and where we live, and to uh, just pray for those leaders that God would superintend and give them it wisdom and give them the resources they need to do their jobs. Our law enforcement has taken a real beating in the media in recently. But I have to tell you, if all the, if all the law enforcement personnel just quit and walked off the job. It wouldn't be very long till the citizens were crying out for them to come back and restore order. Uh, so we need to pray for them too. So while you're praying, don't forget to pray for our law enforcement officers. I am sure they could use wisdom and protection themselves. God bless you. Have a really great day today.